Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. I've got a few colours up. I've got some uh, cadmium yellow, alizarin crimson, burnt umber and ultramarine blue and then a white. I'm just going to use these four to start with anyway. I might probably use more and I might need more paint. I've just blobbed a little bit out. <laughs> Because when I'm painting normally, that tend to be what I do, is like I'll chuck a bit out, mainly because of uh, saving on the old wastage. <laughs> and uh, today I'm going to paint a kettle and a couple of oranges. <laughs> oh, how unusual. I quite like doing still lifes though, uh, they're good practice. So I'm just making myself a bluey brown. And I'll use this to get the kettle shape and size. So the kettle is. So this is a good thing to do for practice, though. If you are thinking, oh, what can I use to paint? Well, you can use anything, and just grab in like a few household items and setting them up and just paint them. Because I think uh, sometimes me personally anyway I start getting a little bit too too uh, I don't know I really think about what I'm gonna paint I get over, over the top really with it when I could just go oh I know I'll uh, I'll just paint this kettle or or whatever <laughs> whatever you want to paint but it's up to you isn't it have a bit of fun and don't overthink what you're going to paint if you want to do a painting because then you can end up spending all day thinking about what to paint and before you know it you're watching TV and you haven't painted anything <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute I'm explaining my life here <laughs> So I'm trying to get the basic shape of the kettle to start with. And I'm using quite a thin paint, bit bit like a watercolour really. Just to just to get a blob of a shape in really. That's basically what I'm doing. And then I can refine the shape as I go on. As I go on and on and on. Ah, looks like a jelly or something. <laughs> this is one of those paintings I'm gonna have to sit up in my chair. So I'm I'm sort of sat back so I don't cast a shadow but I wanna see the shape of it better. I think it's like this. Hmm. I think what we've got is a little bit of a, a ski whiffy shape going on here. It should be something like that. And then I'm thinking uh, this goes right here, like that. I'm using quite a thin paint, so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. I think the width of that, that. 
So I think it comes to about there. Just sort of estimating the width and the length and things. I'm not too worried about getting any exact kettle. Well, <laughs> I want it to lack a kettle. I'm telling myself, don't, don't worry if it's not perfect. I'll probably end up changing the size of that. Hmm. I always find when I first start, it's really difficult to uh, get it looking right and then uh, suddenly things start coming together. I start seeing like the shape a bit better. It always does take a bit of time for me. I think the more you have in on the page, the more you've got to go with then and then you can start. using relationships and things getting quite close now getting a lot closer so there is a sort of a piece that goes like that on the edge of the kettle and then there's a, a round piece there not bad actually just making sure we're getting closer quite dark on the on this part so I might need to introduce a, uh, a black we'll see because you can use blue and brown and it does make a black but I might need it to be blacker than black <laughs> black that I can use though and that'll be alright and then uh, I can think well I don't need to worry too much about the edge so much at the moment because I can use the, uh, the background colour as well to cut things in to make things more right One of the mistakes I used to make, and I'm probably going to make the same mistake again, is, is I would start painting something and not thinking about how big it is, and then I'd end up painting it up towards the top of the page, <laughs> 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 or 
or top of the canvas and then I'll be like oh no because then when you put the frame on it you can guess what happens as uh, the frame covers the top of the painting oh, we need to paint some oranges as well hmm Need some dark, I think. Got my Mars black at the ready. I have got some ivory black somewhere. I can't remember where. <laughs> That's useful, isn't it? Where is the Mars black? I think this needs to be like this. That's where you can see the water level in that gap there. So I'm trying to save that a bit. So the handle on this is about in line. I think it goes about there. And that one goes about there, I think. And the handle goes from about there. about there so, and that goes rounded like that. Yeah, I think that's not bad actually. So that gives me a chance. <laughs> gives me a chance. Give me a chance to paint this. Just want to do a good job. I mean, I always see issues, but don't worry about them too much because you can always improve improve on the next one <laughs> Elizabeth Crimson and Burnt Umber I need to make sort of a dark red for my orange I was thinking, well that's not really a very orange colour. And you'd be right, because the orange is more sort of uh I mean it's orange on the orange side. <laughs> but it is a dark colour on this side. And it's quite big. Because it's in the front as well, and it's quite big, so like maybe it's this big. Kind of lost.
lost the shape a little bit there. But it's okay, because <laughs> we can, uh, when we paint the ground, we can uh, change that a little bit. So it goes like that, and and then the other side, but there's an orange behind. And while I've got this paint, I might as well could use another brush, couldn't I? Make a... Uh, Bit of cadmium yellow and uh, and the orange and the red. Sorry, make a rubbish orange. That is rubbish. <laughs> That's not strong enough. Oh well. We can get it started with this anyway. find that sometimes with paint. <laughs> I paint with the paint and I'm like, hang on a minute, that's not the colour I'm after, that's weaker than what I want. And I forget how certain pigments are not very good. I think I have got an actual orange. I've got a stronger cadmium. That might do better. What else have I got? Anyway. <laughs> I found a, uh, a cadmium red and a cadmium yellow, a proper cadmium, so I can get quite close anyway. So let's uh, continue. So the other orange is sort of around here. That's not bad actually. I think uh, I think I was just not using enough paint. When you do a few layers as well, especially on the, this paper, probably work a bit better. Right, let's try and get this shape. Anyway, something like that. We'll uh, we'll draft in a bit more colour. At a later point of the painting. <laughs> I say that and then I'm like, mm, I just had a bit of this here and a bit of that. Bit of a yellow there, because there is, there is a yellow there. Bit of a yellow line around it there. And then we can go back to uh, painting the old kettle.
Which isn't looking too bad, actually. I can see issues. <laughs> Just wash my brushes. What I might do then I think what I've done. See if we can fix it. I think that looks about right there. I'm wondering if this should be here. Should be about there instead of there, like that. Yes. It's just I didn't get the handle thick enough. That's what it was. <laughs> I didn't quite get the uh, the shape right. I knew there was something wrong. Because it's this this shape here. I was eyeballing. And we can clean that up in, in a minute. So. There is a, uh, a thing there as well. There's some extremely dark areas as well on this. Behind the oranges, the shadow is really dark. What I might do. Uh, start putting in the table that it's on and then maybe start putting in the background colour so what I need it's almost the colour of the of the ground of the um, paper sorry <laughs> the ground talking in oil terms the paper get some of this red and brown actually work quite nice because of the way the paper comes through brown, blue and red. And then we can put in the shadows as well. Don't forget the shadows. I could never seem to get shadows right <laughs> before. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm brilliant at it now, mind you. But I really, I really used to struggle with the uh, the deep darkness of a shadow. I used to do all my shadows quite 
pale, really, from what they are. I mean, I, I still consider myself a beginner, I have to say. I'm not a full-time artist or anything. I'm just a, uh, I just enjoy painting. I try and paint whenever I can. Or paint or design, whatever. I just like to mention some of the things that I didn't really do right, so just in case it helps somebody out. Pointing things out. I think there's a, a deep down there's a teacher in me maybe. <laughs> deep deep down. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, you can use rulers and things to get things straight. So that's another, another bit done. So I need, I need like a, uh, a dull grey now because the tiles in the background are dull grey. So, whoops, <laughs> oh, I just blobbed into the yellow by accident. Um, I want some blue and brown. I think I want red in that. bad colour. I think I do want a bit of yellow in it. It'll almost give it a, a greenish because of the blue and the yellow. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. get this kettle shape. Don't forget the beauty of acrylics is when it's dry you can change it again so if, if it's not right then it doesn't matter, you just change it. Hmm. I do feel like it should come in a little bit there. Like that. about that as we're painting. This was an important bit that I was looking at for quite a while. Mm. 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, there's something not right there. Every now and then I'll give my paints a spray just to keep the paints the paints from drying out. I'm not too worried about going over the lines. <laughs> Just like when I was at school. And I couldn't couldn't colour in properly. Nothing's changed. Yeah, so this is quite a dull background. And there's a reason for that, is that I want the background to be the background for this painting anyway. I know f sometimes you might want a bright background for some reason. For your painting. You might have one in your Kel painting. And if that's what you want to do, it's a good thing, isn't it? just saying for mine I want it to be kind of dull because I want eventually the kettle to and the oranges to stand out I mean it's standing out already quite nicely actually because of it being dark to the uh, light background Just sort of scrubbing in a bit of paint there. I like it when you get a, uh, a background that's not just fully uh, one solid colour. I prefer it to be like different so you have like different marks in the background basically might as well do a bit more here otherwise it'll not look quite right That's not looking too bad. Let's let that dry a bit. So I've just waited for all this to uh, dry a little bit. And now I've got this colour. It's just a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, a little bit of red and yellow, <laughs> a bit of white, a bit of everything. Why not? And uh, what I'm going to do is put this in, in this. I need to bring this out a little bit. I'm using this brush.
makes it look a little bit better and then there's this here which I seem to have not even remembered that bit of colour will help and while I'm using this colour I can uh, I can start creating the shape a little bit Sorry about my hand getting in the way. Just use my finger to move the paint a bit. put a little bit of this Mars black on my palette so it's a bit it's just darker than uh, the blue brown mix and I can use that a bit better what brush shall I use this brush is a fun one for doing trees and things but because it's uh, been used so much <laughs> it's lost its shape I think I can do better with one of these, maybe anyway. So I'm just getting a bit of blue into this dark. And I can start pulling out some of the darks a bit better. can kind of choose how well, what I need to do actually is this dark bit here as well but you can choose how uh, painterly you want things to be as you're painting away that for some of the handle as well the ultramarine blue mixed in with the, the uh, Mars black really improves the black bit of white in it and you can see this nice grey I'm going to start pulling that into this so basically what I've done really is I've started just blocking it in and then afterwards I can start putting in colour and darks and lights and things but once you've got the basic shape that's when you can uh, sort of relax <laughs> can relax and just paint then I think the first part when you're 
trying to get the shape. I mean, I'm still not quite there. I've got to be honest. I'm not quite there with the shape. It's almost there, but it's not quite. I can see it isn't. But it's not bad. At the end of the day, you can refine and refine as long as you want. dark a bit there a bit of dark on there I'm going to throw some of this uh, colour in with this brown, brown and white and blue and grey, sort of a warm grey now, warm grey, picking out these warmer areas, just spray my paints, just a little bit more drying, and sort of uh, warm greys in places I need to pick out. Probably a bit warmer than that even. It's almost a... Down here it's sort of a... Sort of a pinkish, bit of red and yellow, bit of red and yellow and white, and we'll probably get that colour there. Yeah. So there's all kinds of reflections in this. Even in in this, especially the oranges. can sort of see the table see how well it shows up and then we can always go over it a bit Get a bit of blue. A bit more of that blue colour. I want a stronger blue. Not too much white in it, otherwise, it'll just vanish. Gonna use that blue as well on here. A little bit of it. Picking a little bit of white and yellow and stuff. There's <laughs> all sorts in there. Want a bit more of the yellow actually. I'm just looking for colour that I can put in. 
It's a nice warm colour. I can see a little bit of light hitting here. What I could do with it is some yellow ochre actually. Myself a bit of yellow ochre. I want that warmth that the yellow ochre has. That's the good thing about yellow ochre. It's got a nice gold warmth to it, hasn't it? Oh, while well, I'm at it, before I do that, I can see there's a darker area here that needs putting in. So see, don't want to go too bright yet. Light that goes there. There's all all kinds of lights hitting the uh, the metal. Things that are that are there that are just giving that bit of colour. dark there Picking out the uh, the dark bits now. A bit of the, uh, the brown and the blues. back and forth looking at colour. I'll let that dry a little bit now and then I'll start putting in shadows while I'm while I'm working on on this. Actually there's a really nice light I need to try and get I'm just kind of flying around the painting really <laughs> and seeing things like this there's a light on top of this that just gets that shape my uh, 
plates all all over the place with colour now. I want this yellow ochre and white. That golden light that sort of uh, is hitting this side of the kettle there, right there. So here, and around this, then and on this side. Get sort of a roundedness there, and it comes down. Like that. And it's on this. You know how you get um, minerals and stuff on the kettle. <laughs> you can see uh, sort of things there. And then around this as well. down here it's like a symbol there but I'm not going to bother painting that Just so uh, we get like the shape a bit better. That's not looking too bad, actually. I'm better than I thought I was. <laughs> I thought I was going to make a right mess of this actually. But it's actually starting to come out quite nice. Starting to think uh, my new practice is working. Yeah, I've decided I needed to practice a bit more painting, like actual painting rather than painting on the computer because I'm working on this kids book which I keep forgetting I'm going to make a video on because <laughs> I've suddenly got back into this and then I like doing this instead <laughs> it's hard to uh, get enough time to do everything though isn't it when you've got a job and you've got you've got to go to work and stuff it's hard to to fit everything in when you want to paint everything I don't know <laughs> we're always bat everyone's battling against time aren't they the gift of time right now so I start enjoying myself too much forget what I was going to do. The only thing is I'm a bit of the issue with this handle still. There's a 
light on the top of this. Yeah, we need to get the shades in. We need to get the darkness in while we're uh, while we're having fun putting highlights in. <laughs> That's the fun bit, isn't it? It is for me. I love putting the highlights in. We need to put the dark in down here. Like I was saying, one of the things I used to make the error of was not putting the darks in dark enough. Funnily enough, the dark behind the cattle is actually lit up by light uh, from the other side. So it's not as dark as this dark. It's more like there. But well, we've got a table there now, so so actually that shadow would probably have gone up the wall in uh, fake world. <laughs> because I've put this wall in so uh, yikes would it? maybe it would would just uh, indicate something <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe it did uh, I don't know because the actual uh, table edge is up here but I wanted to bring it down because I wanted it to look a bit better but yeah, it probably would go up here. But who knows? Okay. my eyes dance around the painting I see we need a bit more of a yellow ochre white just to uh, get this there's a bit of light there there's light on top of this there's a bit of light here Using this light as well, it is a bit lit up there on this. You can use dry brushing to do that. Yeah, like that. Bit of an orangey colour. You can see that in here. Ready, yellowy color. Like that. There's enough color pigment on there that it should actually show that. So that's what I was uh, struggling with a little bit there. Not enough color. 
Okay, now let's try and get. Oh yeah, <laughs> I missed what I was going to paint again. Yellow ochre and white. There's a, a bit of light that goes right along here. Now we need to look at this orange. So I've got myself some cadmium red and cadmium yellow. This is proper the cad, the proper cadmiums. I'm just making myself an orange. It's not bad actually. Not a bad orange colour, and I'll stop improving the orange. No, my brush is not as uh, wet as I w would have think you'd need it <laughs> but I've done that on purpose basically so you can when I'm putting the paint on it breaks a little bit and then you can see the darkness of the undercolor brown in the red the old atomizer going so I need that dark red again, the crimson and the dark. Cadmium red and the dark, watch that cadmium red. See how it, I'll say anything about pigments, you know. <laughs> expensive ones they really do work good cadmium pigment is really expensive it's 
when I was making paint and I was looking at the cost of different pigments I was like whoa why are some pigments so so expensive and some aren't bit of the yellowy bit more of the yellowy orange for this side of the orange Sort of a, a gradual change of colour. I think I'm there with the orange, well almost, the sort of shape that I need to create a bit more of around here. And then a bit of light. At the back of the orange there. The thing with light, you get light going all over the place. But anyway, <laughs> try and get. The uh, little dot in the middle. And then what I want, use that um, nice white and yellow ochre just to show you. Got my yellow ochre and white there. And I can add a bit of light because you can see light that's coming this way. On there and on there. And then on this side of the orange. I want my paint to be quite dry because I want it to to be able to see it <laughs> when it dries basically and while we're using this again we can uh, start looking at the lights that are here
and I need to get that separated there as well some of those really strong lights get catching it try and catch capturing the uh, shape of it <laughs> a little bit of the uh, bit of the table in amongst that shadow. It's another one of these bounced lights. Just need to get this base looking right as well. Didn't quite get that shape right. I have to wait for it to dry again because I'm otherwise I'm going to put my hand in the orange <laughs> which is not good there's one thing though I could do with this there Just sort of looking, looking at shapes, seeing what I can uh, add to it. See, so yeah, I made sure I had some of this blue, the way I set it up so we could get a bit of the blue into the colour there's also like a real metally <laughs> a metally green that I can sort of see here I call it a metally green anyway, because <laughs> I'm painting metal, so everything's metally, a metally green. Or there's like a uh, color there as well, just like that. It's a really light blue splodger. There 
is it? It's there. There. I'll just carry on. I was going to dry it, but I thought, no, oh, while well, I've got the mind for it, while the mind is working <laughs> for once. <laughs> like there. So imagine it's coming round like that. That's better. That is more like it. lost it again <laughs> I just uh, I don't know if you can see it actually anyway I'll leave that like that now because I need to let that dry a little bit and then I'll look at what I need to do extra if anything so I just went over it with a hairdryer just to dry it a bit better. You can see it a bit better like that probably. I'm going to town with this painting a little bit but <laughs> I'm not uh, timing myself. I'm just painting like I would paint normally. It's one of the rules that I'm giving myself to give myself time to paint to enjoy it rather than because you do for some reason your mind, when you're making a video, your mind goes, oh I need to get this done quick, but I'm just going for the enjoyment of painting <laughs> for now. <laughs> Getting a bit of a, I need a, a yellow, that's nice, same on this one. Kind of breaks in there. Just makes it a little bit better. You see, the main problem we've got is the well, what I think is the base part. Because you can't really see it. Now, if there's two things I could do, one of them, well, there's a few things I could do, but one of them would be to get a black, a real black, 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 <laughs> and go for it like that. Actually, while I'm using this colour, I can see this other area that I could improve on there. And there. Uh, just 
move that a bit. There's a really dark bit there. That um, bobble on the top is a bit big, <laughs> but I don't really mind to be honest. Uh, the other thing is the uh, that shadow is less than it than it is. some indications of wood grain on the uh, surface Oh, I know what I'm missing. Just realised the base is a, a double like that, a double base. <laughs> I knew there was something not right. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I think that's all I can do really on this one. I'm quite happy actually. It looks better than I thought it was going to do. Needed a bit more there. Now. I think I've lost a bit of the darkness on the orange. So I'll just put a little bit more. I think that's a bit better. I don't even going to see that. But I'm going to let it dry now and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like dry. <laughs> Hopefully this will give you a bit of motivation or uh, ideas on what you could paint. If you're wondering what to paint like me, you're thinking, well, I don't know what to paint now. What shall I paint? Paint anything. <laughs> anything and everything whatever you want to paint it's something to paint isn't it? the one thing that I want to do and that's improve this edge I 
could do this as well. But anyway, <laughs> there's a uh, attempt at painting a kettle, a couple of oranges. I had fun painting this. I'm going to do some more like still lives and things. So I noticed that was a bit different to the, what I'd got. But anyway, that'll do for me. I've enjoyed myself doing that. So thanks very much for watching this one. I'll uh, show you what it looks like dry. And uh, I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.